welcome back. This short video is about the nifty Nalgene bottle. They're quite common with uh, campers, backpackers and so forth. Uh, probably not that useful for day trippers because when you use the water or liquid in them, they don't collapse at all. They're a solid bottle. Uh, so a collapsible bottle would probably be better there. But if you're doing uh, long-term trips, these are, are quite nifty. And one of the uses that these have in cold weather is to fill them with boiling water. Uh, this plastic will take boiling water, I think up to about 120 degrees Celsius. Uh, boiling water is 100, so um, they're quite nifty for filling up with hot boiling water and you put them into your sleeping bag to make the toes toasty warm. But there are accounts of these exploding or seriously leaking. Why is that? Well, it all comes down to air pressure. Uh, however, if you're going to use these to warm up your sleeping bag or to warm your hands or whatever, you're going to put boiling water in them. The first thing you need to do is actually check that there are no hairline cracks. Um, they're easily hit, knocked, bumped, dropped onto rocks, hit with equipment and so forth. So just check that there aren't any little hairline cracks showing up in the plastic because you don't want that uh, to cause a leak. Check it, your lid as well to make sure it's not split. Once that's all uh, good and proper, you fill it up with boiling water. Let's pretend this is boiling water. Now, most people would fill them like this. It's um, There's a one litre container. There's roughly 100 mil of airspace left in there. Now, what's going to happen in this situation is that when you pour your boiling water into the bottle, that air is going to heat up really quickly. And um, according to Charles' law, uh, if you're in, let's say, minus 10 degrees and you put in boiling water, that volume is going to um, increase by 1.4 or thereabouts. Uh, that means that there's a 50% pressure increase. Now, that's enough if you've got a bit of a weak thread or um, even if it's a brand new bottle that can be enough to cause an explosive release of this air along with all of the water that's in it into your sleeping bag. Needless to say, that may mean life-threatening um, issues with freezing water in your sleeping bag. And so we don't want that. And it's just horrible and uncomfortable and you just do not want that. So how do we fix this problem? Well, one thing that people do is that they put the water bottle into a Ziploc bag. And uh, if there is an, a major leak, then the bag at least will contain it. Um, of course, the bag has to be without any holes, punches, and sealed properly with the little zip seal. However, there's something else that you can do. I've never had a problem with these bottles. Um, and I make sure that I don't have a problem by doing the following. When you're filling this up with boiling hot water, don't just half fill it, don't just fill it to the shoulder, fill it right up. And I mean to the point of overflowing. So it's not quite overflowing there. Um, obviously you don't do this in your tent, um, or you do it out on open ground, and then you do up your lid there's a couple of little drops snuck out there. That's all fine. Okay, so now that's sealed. Shake it to get rid of the excess water. Now, the air bubble in there is tiny. And so the amount of pressure increase as that air bubble expands under the temperature is a lot less. Particularly if you then, after half a minute or a minute, just gently release the pressure. And if there's boiling water in here, you'll hear a little puff or hiss as that air pressure is released and then just close it up again. You can repeat that if you want. Don't worry, uh, even in minus 30 or 40, this is going to stay hot for a long time. So just make sure that that air pressure is released from that bubble and you'll never have any problems with an undamaged bottle. Now, what's the downside of this? There's always a downside. Well, in the morning, the inverse has occurred with the pressure inside the bottle. So now 
the air pocket in here, the, the air is cooled down and now there's a vacuum or at least there's a very low pressure pocket of air in there that's holding that lid on. Um, you can, you know, if you've got a strong grip, uh, open it up. But most of the time, because your hands are cold, you're maybe wearing your gloves or you're just not strong enough, um, you just can't get the lid off. So what you do is when you're boiling your morning coffee water, uh, just before it gets it boils, it doesn't need to be that hot. It, you know, it can only, only needs to be about 30, 40, 50 degrees. So in other words, tap water out of your tap, that sort of hot water tap, that sort of temperature. And just place the lid into the hot water or the warm water for about half a minute or so. That will be enough to warm up this cap, to release any pressure on the thread, and also warm up to a small degree that air pocket and that will generally allow you to pop that lid off quite easy. Because the, the water in this bottle has gone from boiling down to around about body temperature in your, inside your sleeping bag and it's remained there because your body temperature is keeping it liquid, you've got at least a full litre of drinking water for the day ahead of you. Uh, you just need probably two litres a day. But uh, this one at least will be unfrozen. You won't have to melt ice in the morning uh, or snow. And um, it's fresh, clean, it's boiled, it's sterile, and uh, it hasn't leaked into your sleeping bag. So that's a little tip. Uh, enjoy your wanderings in minus 40.